So today, let's go over some more details for the new MacBook Pro 14-inch model. Today, we've had a new report showing us the expected starting price of the 14-inch MacBook Pro. Today, let's go more into details about this and also a summary of everything we know so far, including the MacBook Pro 14-inch release date and price. Hi, it's Matt here, and we are now at the end of September. So as it's getting closer to the MacBook Pro's release date and more and more leaks and reports are dropping in more regularly, I am making more MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch videos until its launch. So as I have said before, I have decided for all the new MacBook Pro 14 inch videos like this one you are watching, I am going to give you the latest details on specific reports of info that we have been told, then details of the planned release date time, then the summary of the models that are going to be released with all their features that we have learnt in previous leaks. After I am going to reveal my wish list as it were for the MacBook Pro 14 inch and also put in the comments below of what features you would like to see in the new MacBook Pros and maybe in my next video I may feature your comment and discuss my thoughts around it. So let's get started with that starting price of the new MacBook Pro 14 inch. So a new report has come in from Dylan KT who has said the new MacBook Pro starting price will be higher than the price that we get right now on the M1 MacBook Pros. Dylan has said the following, it's comforting to note that both MacBook Pros are on for coming this fall and will have the same chip and the same performance. It's definitely a win for those who opt for the smaller size, but accept a notable increase in price for the 14 inch over the 13 inch. Now to be fair, from my point of view at least, I'm not surprised that there is going to be a price increase. And to be fair, it's wrong here what Dylan is using, the term he's using to say that it is a price increase here. Now, right now, Apple sell the M1 13 inch MacBook Pro, but did you know they still sell the higher tier Intel 13 inch MacBook Pro from early 2020? And they cost more than the M1 MacBook Pros even right now. These higher tier 13 inch MacBook Pros come with say 4 times USB ports for example and before the M1 chip they also had higher Intel spec chips compared to the cheaper Intel 13 inch models with 2 times USB C ports and they also had a less powerful Intel chip inside those. So Apple replacing these higher tier 13 inch MacBook Pros with the 14 inch M1X and as you can see here they are more expensive starting at just under 1800 US dollars. So it's very likely that the M1X 14 inch MacBook Pros will start at this price as well. However, I will comment that this also leads me on to say that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they will come true for new MacBooks. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the new MacBooks anyway. So continuing on with the release date. So based on Mark Gurman's recent report saying that the MacBook Pros are coming in several weeks, this is most likely going to be the case for a launch event in October and release around a week or so later. Remember the last time we got an overall design refresh on the MacBook Pros was in October 2016. So there's a possibility for this, but the exact date with the exception of the COVID launches in 2020 of the new M1 Max, all previous full releases of MacBooks have come at the end of October and this has always been in the mid 20 numbers or even the first or second day into November and it's always been a Friday. In fact another leaker Dylan has also said that the end of October early November time is on the cards. So based on this info and remember this is on facts of other full time MacBook releases so remember this is not written in stone we could and I'll say that again could see the new MacBooks in our hands on October 22nd or October 29th. But if we get a firm date, this of course will change, but for now this gives you a good time to base on when the release will be. So one question I get asked often is, Matt, what do you do in your free time? Well, one of my pastimes is just to go out and get some fresh air and put my AirPods in and listen to a great audio book. I listen to many books from Audible and to be fair there's a good reason for this. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment for all being in one place. 
They have a massive selection of audiobooks ranging from the bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, languages, business, motivational original entertainment from top celebrity creators, and thousands of popular and binge-worthy podcasts. So right now, I'm listening to Steve Jobs' biography, and it's absolutely amazing. There's so many things I didn't know about Steve Jobs, especially during his upbringing. Like, for example, did you know he was adopted when he was a child? But anyways, as an Audible member, you can get one credit every month good for any title in their entire premium selection. You can use this on any new release or even trending entertainment. Then best of all, you get to keep all of those titles forever in your Audible library. On top of this as well, you also get access to the Plus Catalog. Now with the Plus Catalog, it gives you access to literally thousands and thousands of audiobooks, original entertainment, guided fitness and meditation, sleep tracks for better rest, and podcasts, including ad-free versions of your favourite shows and exclusive series. All are included with your membership so you can download and stream all you want. No extra credits are needed for this as well. Like me, you will find the perfect title for whatever you're doing, whether you're going or whatever you're feeling, whatever this is comedy, romance, suspense, true crime, science fiction, or fitness and wellness. So with everything you love to listen to all in one app, Audible is the app that you need. In fact, right now, my channel also has an offer on Audible. You can get a 30-day free trial by going to audible.com forward slash Text, or you can text off your phone Text to 500 500. I will also put this offer in my description below this video, but do check out Audible. With the latest leaks and release date out of the way, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted a picture of the details for the MacBook Pro 14 inch with its price as well. So it's possible that what you're seeing here is going to change over the next coming weeks or months as we get more leaks and reports coming in. But let's begin. So the new MacBook Pro 14 inch is most likely going to be getting that brand new XDR liquid retina display like what we get inside the iPad Pro right now. It will be a mini LED display and with that we'll be getting a resolution of around 2752 by 1720. And also if it's like the XDR liquid retina display that exists right now like in the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, it will also come with a Pro Motion display what means it will have a 120Hz refresh rate. For storage options it will start at 512GB and go all the way up to 4TB. For the actual chipset inside it, it is looking likely that we're probably going to be getting an M1X chipset inside and this will be a 10 core CPU setup and this will give us 8 performance cores and 2 efficiency cores and then there will be an option between a 16 and a 32 core GPU depending on how much RAM you pick. And talking about RAM, there's going to be a choice between 16 to 64 gigabytes of RAM. And it's seeming likely that if you do pick the 32 gigabytes or the 64 gigabyte RAM option, this will give you the 32 core GPU option. There's also going to be a brand new design, because at the end of the day, we're increasing up to a 14 inch design, and it's all going to look completely different. We're going to have an aluminium body, where MacBook Pros have been made out for many years. For ports wise, we're going to be getting the MagSafe. It's going to be returning at last in a brand new way. So it's really exciting to see to come back to the MacBook Pros because it's a great port. We're also going to be getting three USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports will also be USB 4 compatible and we're also going to be getting a return of a HDMI port will be HDMI 2.1 and also an SD card port as well. That's going to be returning back to the MacBook Pro. For the actual webcam, we're going to be getting that center stage webcam like we get on the new iPad Pros right now. And this is a 12 megapixel camera in the middle of your MacBook Pro. For battery life, we're expected to be getting a 6,068 milliamp battery inside it. So that should give us a really good battery life, especially mixed with the brand new Apple Silicon chipset. So prices wise, these are based on the lowest specs. 
uh, MacBook Pro 14 inch that you can get because you can choose the different kind of storage options and RAMs and bits and pieces all the prices sort of change so I've just basically based all the prices on 16 gigs of RAM and then going up with the storages so starting with the 512 gigabyte of storage it will start at 1799 US dollars one terabyte will be 1999 US dollars two terabytes at $2,399 and four terabytes at $2,999 US dollars. So that is a summary of the MacBook Pro 14 inch. However, for my thoughts and wishes. So my main wish is basically the same for the 16 inch MacBook Pro and it's to do with the actual price. Now over the years, the 13 inch MacBook Pro, so this is what we've got right now, including the higher tier version of the 13 inch model, has gone up and creeped up in price quite a bit. The higher tier 13 inch model right now, what they still sell from Apple, starts at $1,800. And if we go back about eight years ago, or so it starts at $1,400. And I'm just hoping that Apple can at least keep the same price um, this year round for this brand new MacBook Pro and not increase the price for this next generation. But let me know in your thoughts below if you agree with this or not. And write in the comments as well what your wishes would be for the new MacBook Pro 14 inch. Well guys, it's also time to wrap up this video, so if you've enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video and at the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, see you soon.